Um, definitely nervous. I, I think we all don't exactly know what to expect until we're actually on the train. That's the tough part about this, like having no control over where the hell we're going and it's just, it's definitely nerve wracking, but the most part, what I'm excited about is spending like a ton of time with, you know, the guys. Oh man, we're in trouble. <laughs> what I truly want to see from this is unity because I believe that us friends have this weird group that just doesn't happen often with these good friends that have been best friends since middle school and I just want to see us grow from this point because we've never hopped trains, we've never lived on the streets, we've never all been together for an entire month every single day. I mean we're gonna get in on each other's nerves, we're gonna see the insides and outsides of every single person. Um, I'm just trying not to think about it that much. Like, that's probably seems the best way to do it. Uh, pretty excited to go to Portland. Hopefully we wind up there. Hopefully we get north. That would be pretty cool. Um, maybe I'll meet a girl on the railroad. And I think that it's just kind of beautiful um, how everyone has their own style. And I really want to capture that because everyone says like, oh my god, like my friends are so cool. But really, my friends are so cool. That sounds cheesy, but my friends are the coolest friends on the face of the earth. And I just want you guys to enjoy that and see that in this film. I feel like this thing is gonna run very smoothly. I think we're gonna get to New York in 30 days, but um, maybe not because uh, I think crap's gonna go down and um, I think it might throw me for a loop. Who knows what's gonna happen? Nobody does. We don't know. That's the biggest beauty of it is that we're completely letting go of what we know. So excited, so nervous, but that's what this is about. It's gonna be the most beautiful trips of our lives. We keep joking about how we're gonna come back as different people, but I actually think this will phase us a bit and it's gonna open our eyes to a lot of different things. It's gonna be so good. Playboy, huh? you uh, you busy? No, what's up? Um, nothing. I'm just chilling with Justin, and um, we have this like idea that's kind of crazy. We do a bro trip every year, but we haven't planned this one. We kind of missed the last year, and I'm thinking that we do it big. Us going train hopping. Do you know what train hopping is? Have you ever heard of it? Yes, like freight trains, and we live like hobos. That sounds insane. Yeah. First off. Yes. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I'm interested, but living like a hobo, dude, I... Okay, uh, well, money's an issue, too. I'd probably have to rent out my room. I was thinking, like, uh, to not spend any money, to do, to do it either like we have no money at all, or maybe $100 max. I mean, listen, if we're going to do it, we better go all out. I think it would be a lot of fun. All the bros are doing it, and it's kind of like a like a last hurrah. Yeah, you already all said yes. Yes. I have to warn you though before we do this, because Jake knew a little bit about it, but I know that Greg's probably going to freak out because he's going to research into it. It is dangerous, obviously. People yeah. like die doing this. And number two is it is illegal. It's slightly illegal, but nothing's going to happen. Okay. I just don't know, man. That sounds crazy. Amazing. There'd be some under that. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm excited. Okay, dope. Dude, that'd be that'd actually be really fun. Just really? Just I know I'd be with all the bull. 
dude. I'd be with all the boys, you know? I think Greg's going to be the biggest question mark, because obviously Greg is like... I mean, he could do it, but I don't know. That's not his like first choice, you know what I mean? If all five of us are locked in, are you down? Can I get a tentative yes to tell the other bros? Uh, it's going to be fun, dude. Bro. You're going to love it. Down. Yes, Greg! Let my bros down? Alright, dope. Alright, let's freaking do this. Greg, you're oh, the man, dude. I'll call you later this week, okay? Alright, sounds good. Alright, G, see ya. Alright, later. Bye. Got him! Take the trespassing problem. We realize the attraction that railroads have for boys. Three boys sauntering up the track with no thought of being in danger. Round numbers, there are 2,000 trespassers killed annually. What the world All of us should take every opportunity to warn trespassers of the risks they run. Alright, so can you hear me, Jake? Maybe? Yeah. Alright, so the situation is uh, we are about to go for a test run uh, and check out this uh, train yard that we're possibly going to jump from. Uh, it's in downtown LA. And so we're gonna all pack in like clowns in my scion <laughs> and uh Dustin, and get pack into the back seat too. Are you back seat boy? Dustin's a back seat boy so, back seat well, I have the directions. I have the directions, so start looking for a place that you can safely pull over the car on the left and keep going down. Your goal is to actually you have a little bit, don't do it yet. It's the Z L C B R to Portland leaves around midnight to one AM. It is eleven forty six at night. Exactly but, on time. Yeah. Thank you, crew change guy. <laughs> we should probably be behind. That light, dude, is bright. Did you see how bright those mm -hmm. big three lights were? I'd rather be on the other side of the fence and throw, jump over the fence right now. Are you watching anything happen? Yeah, there's a spotlight there. Okay, let's go. Keep walking, keep walking. No, no, don't jump, don't jump. Just... No, I jump think over. we should jump. Jump over right now. Marcus, take the camera. Here. Marcus, here. Spotlight. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Other one. We jigs, we need to get out of here. Yo, I said we make a run for it. Yeah. That way. Dustin, take the camera. Hurry up, go on. Hurry up. Say what? I don't think we need to come out to the yard until like 11 30, 12. But I mean, shouldn't we just in case? What time did it go by? It's 1 45 last yeah. night and past one today. I, I, I really think it's a what operating time is it right now. But I'd rather yeah, but come it's out. Coming. I'd rather come out. 1 34. I'd rather be here by 12. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Be here by 12. I'm not. I, I'm saying we don't have to leave at like 9 or 10 anymore to be here. Are we just going home? I, I was under the impression that we were going to go Yeah, home. I thought we were just going home. We're going home? Yeah, I thought I think, I think we nailed the today. Well, we have a better idea of where we're going. At least we have an idea of where to come back tomorrow night, and we can just start there for sure. Tomorrow we're waking up early, dude. Are we leaving today? Are we leaving today? There could be a possibility. It's getting weirder and weirder how much this turning into not being a success could be. What do you mean? And that like it's becoming more real that we could like fail. That like we cannot know? get out of here? Yeah. That and we that... couldn't catch our first train and then we're just like, well, F it, we can't do yeah, this. Yeah, that's what I mean. We had like, if we get arrested on our first port, then that, that's that. We need to get out of LA. So if we get out of LA, and we get arrested somewhere else, and we can still have a trip. We still have wherever we end up, wherever we camp, and however we get back to where we're going, you know? <clears throat> and I think we will. 
I just really it's it's becoming more real with just something as simple as last night. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's still possible. We're still going to do everything we can and to do it, but at the same time, we're like we're little BBs. What are we doing right now? Getting out hundred dollars. About to get the last hundred I'll ever put in my wallet for the next month. <laughs> what would you do with a hundred dollars? I'll tell you, I'll hop trains across the nation. That's what I'll do. Not interested. Marcus hasn't paid me in two months, so I'm Yo, strapped. Are we, are we, are we, are we, yeah. I got no. rain suit. But you don't need it, dude. You I'm, need it. I'm using my underwear. Yeah, just, underwear. Just F it. If, you, if you're overweight, ditch it. Just ditch it. There it is. All right, we're all packed. I'm smiling right now. We're all smiling right now. <laughs> we're packed. Let's go. Let's ready go. to go. And we're leaving the apartment right in his house. All right, boys. Let's, let's go. go. Land. Rolling? Let's go. All right, goodbye home. Goodbye life as we know it. <laughs> Left the door unlocked. Don't give two rips. <laughs> I'm lucky. This is happening a lot faster than I thought. Is everyone ready? Is everyone yes. prepared? Is everyone good? Prepared. Okay. Jake, are you carrying that camera or putting it away? And I'm you know filming what? and I'm gonna pass it off. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna pass it off yeah. when you're running? Yeah, he's gonna throw it up. Dude, we gotta get the shot in there. That's how All it right. goes. So okay. who's doing that? Get, you mean get back, get back, get out of the way, Jake. What are we doing? I don't know. What to do this? Move, I guess. We have to wait for panels. Wait for panels, Paddle. dude. If. How do we get on that? Okay, exactly. Right there, the corner. Corner. How do we get corner? Corner. Right there, like yeah, that? Yeah, go. Let's hit the corner. Shoot. Right here. Oh, dang it. Hurry, help me. Oh, no, Ready? Okay, okay. Jump on, jump on. Yeah, that's it. Get under. Oh, oh God, guys, we did it. Boys, we're out. We're looking at under Come on, Jake, make, make sure. We're I am in. You want to know how fast we're moving? That's how fast we're moving. This is
just don't want to get stuck in this yard. The worst thing that can happen is it stops. That's not the worst thing, but if it stops and they do an inspection, we're hoping what they're doing right now is called the crew change, where they just stop for a period of time, change the crew, and then just keep going. Crowd coming up. Right, yeah, just, just stay chilly. There's a train rolling to our right right now. This might just be a crew change. It has to be, guys. This, this train, train is only going to Tacoma, this Washington. This place is vacant. I, don't, I, I can't see anything. Yeah. Right, I can't good. see anything on the left at all. So. Oh. Alright, we're good then. But I've never had to pee more in my life. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> We're so paranoid about nothing. Know, because be no like... one gives a rat's behind if we're here. <laughs> they could care less if we were dead on this train. <laughs> Passed through Sacramento, we're on the north side. The train just took a break. It's about 2 p.m. We've been on the train for 13 hours now. If you can tell, the color of my eyes, I've barely been sleeping. <laughs> um, and I think everybody's just been trying to get a little bit of sleep. I've had a couple hours, an hour or two. It's a little difficult when there's a freight train roaring like a tornado in your head. Except I think Justin's been out the longest. Yeah, he has. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Jump. Okay, let's go, go, go. Go, go, go. Alright, so we just got off the train right now. We kind of have to move quick. We're in a random place in town right now. We're trying not to get caught by the crew. Right here. We gotta go now. Because this is moving. So let's go. Right yep, come on. Thorns, thorns. Bad thorns. Bad thorns. Just stand right here. Just stand. Just wait. Go. Right here. Okay, okay. We found one. We found a spot. Quick, quick, quick. Where's Jake? Jake. Come on. I know. Alright, off our first train. That was insane. Here's the problem. We have no idea where we are. I have no service. So we just have and to we took around. a leap of faith. Yeah, go like up the hill and then take a right. Okay, it's, up the hill and take a right. It's called Main Street. 
yeah, I think it's called Dunsbury <laughs> Avenue. Okay. okay. All right. Thank, thank you. you. What do I see in Justin's eyes? I see burger porn. Wash your face. <laughs> And I promise you'll feel a thousand times better. Really? I'm actually getting used my back to not shaking me. right now. Like not constantly being in motion and having my brain just thrown against the other side of my head. And not constantly hearing. We're all kind of sick, I think, from being shaken around a lot. So we're going to try to find camp, set that up as fast as possible, and uh, take our time. This you know? road, so, yeah. yeah, but keep going. You know, keep yeah, going yeah, on yeah. up and just follow it. and. Uh, uh, you should be able to find a good spot anywhere around. Great, you know, awesome. No people, because I know if I can't, I don't want to be woke up. You know, that's yeah. my thing. How are you guys getting around? We're hopping the train. That's ballsy, dude. That's ballsy. Yeah. Oh, I'll be with you, man. Oh I'm yeah, yeah. I've done it. I've done it. I did yeah. the High Line, not knowing what the f I was doing. Oh, and that's really? the only that's reason I live. Do. We're gonna do the High Line, the, the one that's like from. Bring oxygen tanks, man. I mean it. Be fucking prepared for that route, dude. It is fucking treacherous. I don't know how to do it. Just slide it off. I could have had my bed set up already. Dude, I'm sleeping in a tent tonight just because we slept on a train. Yeah. And, and we're in a group of people. You sleep by the stars. And it, you, you can, but you have to be good. a group player too. Just because that's what you want doesn't mean the group wants it. All I'm saying is it'd be a lot more convenient and we're wasting so much energy right now in so much time that we could actually be sleeping and get it. Should we? Rise and shine, little biddies. Yo, everyone's gonna sleep for a little bit longer. What happened? Everyone's gonna sleep definitely for a little bit longer. Sleep more? Yeah. Okay. In comparison to sleeping on a rusted train for the past <laughs> 20 hours, it wasn't so bad. My Cole Hans that I wore, um, they're doing okay. Uh, I'm the only one out here who doesn't have real hiking boots. I know, you're a designer lifestyle. I know, I'm living this designer lifestyle and it's just catching up with me now. Yeah, Justin and Greg got us a scummy Coke. Well, at least I was paying attention instead of like... I was, like, that's why six. I said, what does the combo come yeah, with? And then you, you ordered the scummy Coke. It was the same price if yeah. we all ordered our individual meals, so it did nothing. It was, it was more a $32 cost pizza. It was, it was more cost offensive. It's the same price. Marcus says we have to be conscious yeah, of our money. No, no, no. I, I didn't say we're doing this. No, you yeah. said we're doing it. It's more cost effective. And then you didn't even know the price of it. <laughs> okay, and we chose to do that collectively as a group. You could have said something. No, you no, definitely chose to do that. Dude, for sure. I didn't pay Vote on it. I Vote on it. Did Marcus order? Did Marcus order the pizza? Vote on it. It's not. It's not. Marcus ordered the pizza. You ordered the pizza, dude. All four of your friends are telling you you ordered pizza. We'll check the footage. Oh my god, because we're wasting time. We just found some apples. Oh, apple me. Holy apple. They look a little young. Dude, I don't give They're a little rips. young, but who cares? Oh, 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 oh. Test the mm, apples. They are young. Yeah, the night is young. I'll eat those apples all day. Mm. Are they good? Yeah, dude. This is a great apple. Yo, stack hey. some apples right now. Free <laughs> apples. Yeah, let's... Hey, Justin. What? what are you buying right now? I'm buying beer. Apple. Wait. Say that again? Beer. Apples. A apples? After we just got like all three yeah. apples? Yeah. You can have your little oh. midget cravels. I'm gonna take my Dude, I'm gonna take apple. all five apples that were three and eat them. All of them. Thank you so much. You got it, big dog. Yo. Uh, we were walking by just in town deciding where to go and someone yells from behind us, Hikers, want some beer? Naturally, yes. we say yes. <laughs> it's the mecca of train riding people or whatever. Cool. And they have a spot. Joey, can we take them there? Can we take them to the BBRC? They have a box car, they play music. They have a box car for literature, for, for hobo riding. There's I'm many important. acres. No, it's, no, it's right here. We'll take uh, you there. If she yeah. says yes, we'll drive you there right now. It's like, that's enough. Well, sorry. I have, a, I have low self-esteem. <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to we're trying to head out like. You now, need to go to the BBRC. So. It's the mecca. It's the epicenter of the whole of trail of trail really? riding, train riding. It's a compound of trail, not the teeth, not the teeth. <laughs> but uh, 
They call me Toothbox. I have one tooth or whatever. No worries. Dude. But you guys got to go there. It's you can't if you're doing this. You can't miss the epicenter. Is that the word? Yeah, that, yeah epicenter. Yeah. Yeah. I've been to college. It was a state college. It wasn't good. <laughs> it's Oregon. Not good. All right, so you guys have to go, go there. Jordan, we're it? taking them there. That's it. That's done. We're taking yeah, we the BBRC. Go. That's cool. Love it and love it and love it and love it. <laughs> How do you feel about this right now? Where are we going? I don't even know where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to a compound right now, like a like a freaking hobo compound. Are we gonna have people. time to catch our train? No, we're probably not gonna catch a train, but you can catch out from there. We're thinking. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm stoked. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are probably the best no. friends I've ever had. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. No, nah, he's, he's, he's the dopest. Jake, you're me and Greg. Yeah. Here. Let's uh, have and then Jake, you Jake, you can put one leg on me. Are you guys okay? Right no, yeah. they can't. Oh, we're, we're good. We're, so we're, shot shot we're so crazy. solid, it's not even funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna push this. You smell like such shit, dude. I promise you. You put it back. Oh my god, dude. 20 miles of this, I might just have a claustrophobic attack. Here we go. Leave, leaving town. Oh, when I'm a Skateboard, good cocaine, I'll do it. I'm not a fucking communist. But I will not do heroin or methamphetamine. Hell, I just don't want to be filmed. I just don't want to be filmed right now. get on a better train. It feels so warm in here. It's so warm. Two pounds in your pack you can get every single time we go to a train yard. What's he wanting to do? He wants to get a railroad spike. But it's dumb because we're always on the railroad and there's always railroad spikes. It's like an extra three pounds to put in your pack all the time. Marcus! We Eugene. couldn't have stopped at a better place because just look, like we're just they we the train to a field of berries. Yeah, the train completely stopped. We're foraging. Jacoby. Like hunter gatherer style. Look at Jesse. <laughs> Green beans and blackberries. <laughs> What's for dinner tonight, boys? Yo, can These I are, get three yeah, of those, yeah. Oh, my berry oh, came down. Mommy. Let's walk, guys. Let's walk. Let's go. And then, probably about a, a mile past there, you'll see a couple streets that'll enter it. You can walk off going to the west. Okay. All right, All right, good to meet you guys. Enjoy the rest of your walk, guys. All right, thanks. You guys too. Enjoy. It's fun to meet you. Thank you. How far are we? Coming up on the railroad soon. Just at the end of the street, I think. See if there's any trains leaving. Out to Portland. Oh, look, it's on the, Once it starts going, it's on the other side of the Yeah, 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 look, look, look. That's the northbound track right there. 
the one that's closest to it. So when it starts going, we can freaking ditch you. Run right here, cross over traffic, and go. Hop, and hop. Just hide, and just hide in the shade. Yeah. And don't let them see us. A berry farm. <laughs> Every road we've gone on, there's been blackberries. Every road you take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this is prime right now. If we were to get our bags and go, we should go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's hey, go. hey, boys, let's go. We're gonna try to run and jump and just open up one. We don't know. Do you have the spike? Who has the spike? Get the... I know. That's what we're those gonna do right now. The ones we can't. We can't open those. Why? They're, that was what he was saying last night while we were walking with him. He was Which like, ones? these are no good. The ones with the bars on them, dude. The ones that look like they can't get in. Funk, dude. We've been in Eugene for six hours now. Um. So this is the not so glamorous side of train hopping. And this is kind of our first experience dealing with that. So um, I guess just wait for the next well, train. Last night told us over and over again. I take it I knew this when we got into this. This There's, is what you do. This is what you do. 95% of the time you're on this train is spent no, waiting. You you're to be in this no, but you're like acting like this is the end of the world and it's really not. Have I you just said that was our ticket out. Yeah, it was. It, it was wasn't. Was. It was a flat car and probably odds out. are, odds are completely it was not, there's not big enough of a bucket there to hide five people. And I'd rather be set up, to, I'd be set up, rather be set up to make yeah, it to our destination. No yeah, exactly. Not jump in. We could have been, we could have been sitting on that roasting on hot metal for the next two oh, hours. Yeah, and totally, I'd rather make dude. sure that we're going to be okay. Hot shrapnel metal. For sure. You're not telling me I don't, nothing I don't know already. Trust me on that. Um, we spent our whole day dealing our dicks here, and we have nothing to show for it. Nothing. Because the next one was the one you wanted to check out. I need help. If we're gonna do it, I need someone to run with me and help pull in the door. and that car's not there. Where are you guys trying to go? Uh, uh, I'm farming, man. So oh. I'm just here working. Oh, okay. So like, I'm, I'm on the road too, but like I said, I'm just farming. So I'm here working. You're just chilling. Yeah, but I just come out here to tag. And... In order to catch a train at that too Portland, we need to go south, back to where we came from. Yeah, but dude, honestly, like, Portland's so close and it's so f easy to hitchhike in this state. Like, you can just, like, you could, you could hitchhike to Portland in another hour. Tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight, tomorrow morning. For sure.
Yeah. Wait, we're not getting to Portland from this train? No, we're not getting Portland from this yard. I've been coming here to visit her every year for five years, and I've always just hitchhiked up to Portland because uh, this yard is, it's, it's a work, it's a short line work yard. You know? like she got patience, you know, and like the workers aren't friendly and shit here. So it's like, they're not, not friendly working. here? No. <laughs> Oh man, you gotta think that like every like dumbass like drunk like street kid has already come through every town along this line, mm-hmm. blown it up real bad. Yeah. Like from here all the way up to Portland, the security in Portland so been hardcore, it's ridiculous. We're trying to catch the IM maybe to Chicago and take the High Line all the way across, like the scenic route, you know. Do you know where you go in Portland to do that? Mm-hmm. Like uh, Burnside. 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 That area. Okay. But you do a loop if they catch you in. You do it a week in jail. No way, bro. Yeah. yeah that we're stopping the this is a rack of yeah. Morgan next to an abandoned building. Okay, yeah. our expectations are don't like we didn't want this to happen, but it happened. And I think it happened for a reason. So I mean let's exactly. just roll with the punches yeah. and do it. Deal yeah. with it. I'm not gonna lie though. He made it seem like it's way more possible that we can get a lot of in that one town, yeah, for sure. I, I didn't know that either. I really thought that that was... No, like, not even just in that one town. Like, just, like, in general. Yeah. Dude, if we go to that one town and we see those trucks... We're not we going to, to that town. None of us here besides you is willing to get arrested for a week. No. What town? Hinkle. The, the f***ing... That's the High Line, so we're not doing the High Line, then. Then we're not doing the High Line, because no one's going to jail for a week. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> we jumped on a junk got left like a skunk we're gonna hitchhike tomorrow morning we'll see if we get anywhere but I think we can start early catch that morning work rush anybody heading north anywhere we'll see but there's no we probably won't get a train out of here So there was a bunch of glass where we started camping and my deck is deflated. So this sucks. If we check in, we can get food. Okay. All right, thank you. So this place was a homeless shelter and they give away free food at 11.30. We can sign in and like get food now, but I don't know, I, mean, I have a little bit of food. Yeah, so and we can hit the road, so. Come on down. I'm Scott. Greg, nice to meet you. Hi, Marcus. Are you just like traveling and just walk, going for the country? Or? Yeah, pretty yeah. much, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, just trying to get to Portland right now, really. Yeah. We ask you, Lord, to be with us today and send your spirit to minister to us. We just love you, Lord. We love you. Thanks, guys, for coming. There's something about you. It's, 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 the Lord just wants you to know that he's with you and that he's leading you and he's taking you where you're supposed to be going. Yeah. And you're going by faith. And bless everybody yes. here. Thank Praise you. God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jim. Okay, you guys want to testify? <laughs> Alright, so, hi, I'm Marcus. Um, I'm kind of uh, the leader, if you will, of this group of guys, but we're all... Yeah. <laughs> um, I think you stepping out in faith and saying what God, you know, told you to say is really living, breathing proof of, oh my gosh, God is with us, because there's no way we would have just... We would have, we got on the wrong train. We're not supposed to be in this town. We got dumped off here. We're looking to hitchhike out of the town and, and by God, we we're walking by and we said, what is this place? And walked down here right when church was happening to hear you say that, just to let us know that, yes, God is with us. He is with us. And that's just another affirmation, you know, of, of that truth. And I think that was really good for all of us to hear. And thank you guys for just taking us in and loving us. And this is great, so thank you. Thanks for being here. Thank you.
you are, and I don't care. But what the Holy Spirit came to live inside of me, and if that sounds strange, it's true, he did. And what he's saying is, you boys are right where he wants you to be. Yeah, amen. Right? Yeah. Where he wants you to be. I was sitting here and the Holy Spirit just overwhelmed me. And you boys are beautiful. You're you're beautiful. You're your smiles on your face. You there, 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 and that's what the world needs right now: is smiles on their faces. Can can you understand me? Yeah. I don't talk real plain. So <laughs> take this picture of this old lady. <laughs> <laughs> and look at her and know that the Lord has designated you boys to do what you're doing and to put a smile on your faces because the world Amen. needs to hear it. Right. Yeah. 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 And we're going to take an offering, but I want to say this to you guys. Uh, <coughs> put this in my mind. I've never done this before. If anybody uh, needs some money, just take it out of here. It needs oh my God. And, uh, we'll just pass this around. And you guys, some watch way out. But anyway, we'll be sure that Thank you so much. Man, I'm so glad to have that. you guys here. I know I don't. I, I do what the Lord asked me to do, man. He told me. So bless you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. And if you have any needs, you know, if you guys have needs, let us know. We'll, we'll see what we can do to help you out. Uh, we want to pray a blessing. How should we do that? Hey, you just missed your train. <laughs> Anyone down for a comfy car all the way to Winona Gorge? Yeah, yeah. let's do yeah. it. <laughs> you. Uh, oh With my Eileen, gosh, what a, a flipping food. blessing. Yeah. What a blessing and a half. There's not air conditioning in here though. That's all right. Uh, oh, we don't have we air, conditioning have air conditioning in the train. Yeah. The past 48 hours were crazy. Yeah. And right now, the past 12 hours were even yeah. crazier yeah. in different ways. But like, it's just, it's, I can't even, like, we don't, I can't even. Like, how did we get in this car? I can't even, like, put, like how did we get food this morning what what I can't even fathom it that's what I'm saying is like I can't even fathom what the rest of this trip is going to be like because we have no idea and we said this going into it so we're going to have no idea what's going to happen I just need to stop feeling bad about stuff dude it's accept like, it just accept the fact we're all from like we know what we have and then we do but that's okay a homeless person doesn't have a life to go back to after this or something like something like that so this is only, this is only, yeah, they no, know. I, I know, and that's the only reason that I kind of warmed up to it, but morally, like, obviously you walk into that homeless shelter and you, like, look around and it's you're like, yeah, the reality damn, like, like, maybe wow. those people could have used that $5 that that woman handed me a little bit more maybe than I could have. They even said it today in the message, receive what people want to give to you. 
because it is out of them I wanting just, to I, get I, it. That's something I, I know, need to get better for sure, because I have a tough yeah. time doing that. You know, I just think this is part of it. This is not like, if we were really the ones living on the road doing this kind of stuff, this is what happens to them. So we're actually experiencing not just being on the freight train, not just being on the road living somewhere behind uh, an abandoned building. Well, this this life. happens too. Like, Come back, pick you up for hours. <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we've made our way all the way here. You're, sure you're, you're gonna it make out. it. You're gonna make her. Here she is, all of our stuff. Thanks. It was really cool. You guys showed up. It was up. really nice meeting. I'm gonna. Okay, give him. I'll take hugs. I'm the next one. Brother, yeah, of course. Thank you for everything. Hey, you keep up the good work. Don't get discouraged. Thank you so much, Jim. And now we gotta, you are. we're just going to pay it as much as we can. Yeah. Thanks for the memories. Of course. I'll look you up. Yeah. Do it. You ready to go, Eileen? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Is where we head down? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone? Greg, are you ready to just dump, jump in and clean all of your clothes? Jumping in my jeans. <laughs> no lie. When I was ripping down on my 67 Chevy, you asked me what the hell was wrong with me, baby, and I said... No, 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 we, we gotta start with it's gonna get... Well, let's actually write lyrics and actually yeah. just mess but around But let's cut to the chorus. Five, six, seven, let's take the high line. High line. High line. Let's take the high line. High line. High line. Let's take the high line. High line. High line. Let's take the high line. High line. Dude, that super deep, that was fire. That high line. Fire. Dude, that was money. <laughs> We're on the moon. So uh, we're leaving camp right now, and uh, we're trying to hitchhike back to Portland. We don't know what's going on. We know there's a train that comes through here every like half an hour, but only two have been slow enough in the last 24 hours to jump on. So we're gonna hitchhike until we see a train that maybe is slow enough to get into town to get on our nice fast train over to Montana. Greg, smile. We need big smiles. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, no! Deuces. We didn't want your car anyway. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single soul. Right? Show some ankle. Show some ankle! There you go. Yes, that's a win. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Oh, please, please. <laughs> right now we're screwed. Because we're trying to get to Portland. Because we're Portland bound. <laughs> we have no ride. So we're so screwed. Just in the middle of the state park trying to catch a ride out. What's Marcus doing all the way down there? Marcus is uh, doing the same thing. We're in state, we're working in phases here. Thanks so guys, much for stopping that. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Oh my god. Uh, please will, and thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Free Malawi mango. And I feel terrible for like you guys all over and Hey, thanks for the drinks for sure and nice shirt. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Bye. Good meeting you guys for a small moment. Totally. Did you want to buy a cocoa too? You got one. I got the mango. Thank you. Have a good trip, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. So where are y'all here from? Uh, Anchorage, Alaska. Alaska? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we're just down for like 10 days, traveling around Washington and Oregon. Yeah. <laughs> you guys grew up in Alaska? We yeah. did, yeah. Both born and raised in Anchorage. Dude, I've always wanted to go. Same I've with this guy. He's born and raised in Anchorage, too. Thank you guys so much for stopping. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we drove by you the first time, and uh, she said, you know, we could pick up a hitchhiker, and I was like, could we? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, I guess. Where well, were you guys rolling in? Hitchhikers. <laughs> uh, it's just this like, red truck over here. Yeah, red truck. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys again. Yo, you're going to want to sit sideways for sure. You're going to. I'm, I'm all the way, my back's all the way. No, you're, I mean, you're going to want to sit with your back towards that way. He's on my leg, though. Oh, you guys haven't seen it? No. Put your back, yeah. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good if we go sideways like this, dude. We'll be fine. We just got free drinks and a nice ride. Oh my boy! We had two people battling. Yeah. Oh, he's just we whipping this mother people. too. dropped us off here near Burnside Park and um, I don't know we're just gonna start seeing what we can do about hopping on the next train I think it's around 4 p.m. when it comes so uh, we're gonna get some water food uh, do a little bit of research get a hold of someone possibly that will know more about trains and get going on the High Line spot we're gonna get on the train. We've been waiting here for about three hours now. Our train just showed up and it seems a little more difficult than the other spots we've dropped from. Kind of have to cross over a lit up road and our train's doing some funky stuff. We thought it was gonna roll through but it just backed up so we're probably gonna jump here in the next 10 minutes or so.
because it's way too fast. It's getting to be fast. Really. say we get into whitefish at night just camp there when we get at night and then we have the whole day to freaking hitchhike to glacier and we wouldn't miss a whole day do you know what i'm saying because if we if we get off tomorrow our whole day is going to be getting to whitefish however if we just stay on we'll cruise through spokane and we'll get straight to whitefish then we can just get off yeah we'll be tired yeah it won't be like the best time but it's only another six hours after the next one you know what i'm saying like we save a whole day essentially yeah I just what do you think about that? I mean, once it starts moving, I feel like we'll feel better again. And Spokane, they said that it's like a refueling station. So it's like 25 minutes, another 25 minutes, a 30 minute wait, and then you're out. Spokane. 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 That's Spokane or Spokane? Spokane. It's so weird. Like, you have like a love-hate relationship with the sun on this train because in the morning when you're freezing and you just cannot wait for the sun to come up over the horizon and you're just like, you're up. just praying for the sun to come up. And then when it finally hits its peak and it's just blasting you, you just cannot wait for it to go away. <laughs> it needed to be done. Oh my God. Uh, I got a wipe.
we just crossed the border into Idaho after a, a crew change and we've been on this train for like 27 hours. Something nuts. Pretty much the train has stopped several times. Sometimes an hour, sometimes six hours. We slept through the entire night. I really don't know how the rest of the boys are doing up front. But uh, we're finally on our way to Whitefish. It's the next stop. And we're gonna get off there and uh, recoup. Get some water, get some food. Hopefully get a, a bus to Glacier National Park. But for now, I'm gonna try to stay warm. I'm excited that it's daytime again, and uh, we'll see what the day brings. We're out of water, so we need to get some water bad. Nothing? We still got a ways to whitefish. It'll yeah. stop again. We'll probably get some water. Yeah. It's just hot, you know? We got to get in the shade. We got to stay in the shade. It's like a small mini lake, like a tiny pond up there. How far? We can't risk it, dude. Our, if the train starts going, we don't have enough stamina to get back to that. All the way up there. We still, we should probably head back right now, actually. Wow, dude, look how beautiful it is. This is the best shower I've had in a week. Right here, fully submerged. It's not that bad. We have bigger fish splashes up there. Like if we were chilling here, we're gonna catch fish, boys. Yeah, we are. Soap in my hair, dude. dude. I mean, we really skimped out on the soap. I might do a tiny bit more if that's okay, Jake. I'll get some at white fish, I'll promise. No, I don't you. mind. I really don't mind. I'm probably gonna be grimy and not really use soap because I just never really do. <laughs> Water and natural oils work for me. Um, I'll oil you. I was freezing, okay? Freezing. It must have been like 40, 45 last night. And I was like, shivering and I was like Greg get closer we'll stay warmer we should stick together just put your body on mine and we'll be warmer and and then he does and I like get a little bit more warmth and I'm like oh this is nice I was like tell Justin he's probably freezing it's warmer if we stick together he's like Justin's in his bag dude you don't have your bag out it's like no you guys got your bags out he's like yeah <laughs> And so then I get mine out, and then I was like, Greg, just make sure you put the tarp over yours because it's red and, and they'll see us. And he's like, they're going to see us if they see us. No point. <laughs> yeah, we're heading out again. Let's do this. Woo! You good? Yeah. So, you can always expect a lot of slack tension right when you're starting and slowing down. So that was a classic example. We gotta keep our wits about us and keep our hands and feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
got to be a brush fire or something. I'm not sure, but it's super hazy out. And there's just smoke filled everywhere. So I don't know where the fire came from or how big it is and whatnot, but it's definitely somewhere around here. We've been on the train for like 33, 34 hours now. And we just passed <clears throat> like three BNSF trucks. Which is the train line we're riding. And right we now. thought they were like, I don't know, maybe having something to do with trying to contain the forest fire or something because there's like a really bad fire going on right now. And I don't know if you can see, but it's like really smoky. And um, then we were just sitting here and then two trucks just flew by here, headed towards the, the front of the train, obviously where the conductor is. And so we're a little, we're a little nervous right now because they probably saw us. Like, we're not really being like super cautious right now. And oh, so they definitely saw us. They definitely saw us. Yeah. yeah, they definitely saw us. We, I see them on the way back. Yep. We need to get, we need okay, to get, so everyone, down, down, make down, sure you're down, on down. this side of the train, far side. Put your bags down. Get on the other side. Bags down. Yeah, we're good. Can everyone fit? Justin, tell us when they pass. Yeah, I will. Stay down. Right there. He's right there. They're right there. Right there. Stay here. Come this way. He's, he's about to pass by. So. He's not there. He's already he just there. stopped. I just want to They're right there, right there. process from here as far as get I... booked in jail charged with a uh, trespassing and then you can either bail out or wait and see the judge in the morning wait to see the judge in the morning you'll get fed twice <laughs> all right just go in there and face the wall go all the way to the door there and face the wall so you want to wish it bail it out you can bail it out or do you want to we should probably can bail no, out we're not staying here yeah Just document your train ride? I'm trying. Pictures everywhere. Yeah, we got a lot. Well, unfortunately for you guys, Amtrak takes it for, uh, the end takes it pretty seriously. Yeah, apparently. Guys. 
Yeah, it's not like 10 years ago or 20 years ago when we just hop the train and travel across the country. Right. They have spotters that look at people on the train. Really? Then they call the next town. Wow. That's why we're here. Yeah, one thing about the end that does on such a tight schedule. Yeah. And if they wanted to really be dicks, they can charge you for all the man hours lost. Just that 20 minutes that it took to get everybody off the train. Really? It's a million dollars an hour for every every time you shut down the trains. Put the camera down Why? just drop because you're not gonna let it film on federal property. There's nothing looking for. Yeah, but you should walk down the door. We just want to get out of here. Just let us get out of here. I'm letting everyone do whatever they want. Don't yes. push me out of the way. Don't push me out of the way. To be honest, I think we all look pretty great. Right? I'm in focus. focus. You're not right now. Scoot out of the chair. We just got out of jail. Alright, so. We out, out of jail. jail. Not bad. Hey, Look boys. At this sunset. Terrible. Look at this. Green. Oh my. Hey, what's worth it? Let's turn this on. Let's, uh, let's get food. Let's wow, that is so beautiful. Let's hotel, then get food. Okay? We're spoiling ourselves because we just went to jail. And there is a hot tub. There is a hot tub, an indoor pool. This is after she made me wash my hands so I could do the fingerprint, and this is still, so I'm just gonna let this soak for a couple in a hot tub. Oh God. <laughs> we went to jail. Yeah. Well, you, you got a long way to go. You got a long way to go if you get caught again. What's the second offense? We don't know. We're going to look into it. Some of the guys are already saying, like, oh, we don't know if we want to finish it or not. Yeah, if you get caught again, you, you don't want to go to jail, honey. Um, I just don't know where my train hopping future lies from here. So, I guess... That's really it. I just never thought I would I would be on that side. I never thought I'd be behind bars. I never thought I would have to call my parents and tell them, hey, I was arrested. This is the one thing, the one thing I wanted to avoid this whole trip. And it was like the one thing I didn't want to go on this trip for. Because like I knew something like this one was gonna happen. It's like, you know, it's obviously illegal. And I told them this was the one thing I didn't want to do. Every little thing that happens is a sign and happens for a reason. Um, and so we should take the good things with the bad things and know that this was kind of like a sign to like stop. We all said if we got in trouble once, we don't want to compromise getting in actual trouble by pushing our luck. This sucks. It sucks because I know that I'm the only person who wants to keep going. Like, I wish we would have got caught in like freaking Chicago or something or like somewhere where we're like, I don't know, freaking Pennsylvania where we had like an hour to go, you know? But now it's like, we had so, we have such a far distance to travel and it's like, I know everyone's gonna give up. No one wants to do it. And that's what just makes me upset. We just like didn't hit our goal. Yeah, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going forward on this trip riding any more trains because I've got too much legal stuff that I'm just not willing to take a chance that could alter the rest of my life uh, from doing something that my instinct is already telling me not to do any further. Um, but like I said, if, if y'all want to continue with this, that's fine. I mean, what do you want to do more? Yeah, that's up to you. I wanted to make it across the United States and we didn't make that goal. Which is great. It's just, I think it's awesome that we shot for the moon. Like mm -hmm. we literally did. We went big. Mm -hmm. And if there's one thing that we've learned along this is that everything happens for a reason. Cause As a team, we could have done much better and that's what upsets me is that we didn't take it seriously. We I, hung out on the sides. We weren't really like staying low and 36 hours maybe we should have gotten off if it was that bad, but I think whenever we saw railroad workers, whenever we went into a town, whenever we saw another train, 
I was the only one person I know for a fact who was saying, everybody get down, get down and hide. And no offense, Jacobus, but you sitting on the side in the rocks and saying, dude, it's okay, they don't care, I just, it's all peace and love, I just like wave to someone, it's like, dude, that's what got us in trouble. I mean, you can, you can do this and you can be like, it's going to be okay. Yeah, it's not but that's okay. not, that, but like, like, but like saying this and having that, dick, yeah, yeah, having that, you are, you are being, being a dick. dick. Having that type of attitude towards it. You just told me two days ago that it was divine intervention that we stopped in this town. If you believe that this trip is divine intervention, you would have shut the fuck up immediately right now and realized that there was something bigger at play than just your self-esteem and your pride on this project. But by bringing it into us and telling us that we didn't work hard enough on this, I didn't want to sit on a train for 36 hours. Greg didn't want to sit on a train for 36 hours. We had no idea this was going to happen. When you said, guys, we're going on a 36-hour train to make distance. Okay, we're going on a 36-hour train to make distance. It's what you wanted. Okay? At the end of the day, none of this was up to anyone else but you. You had the ultimate call in every single decision that we made. And turning this around and saying that, okay, well, maybe, well, I, I had the vision for this and you guys, you know, I was pulling a majority of the weight. Okay, we just all got arrested for you. Yeah. No one else. I didn't want to come out and get arrested. Greg has more fucking issues with this than you will ever believe. But we did it for you. For your documentary, all four of us stepped up to the plate. When you asked, you want to film, you want to go and film on a freight train alone? Feel free, have fun. That's not going to be much fun. You're going to be sitting there be below a semi, talking to yourself for four fucking days. So, I think what you're feeling right now is very selfish. And I understand the reason and how much monetary better than anyone. I understand how much monetary value you put into this. But if you expect to do something illegal, and then when something illegal catches up to you, that Okay, well, it's everyone's fault. No, not that. Well, you signed on, you knew what you were getting into, and you knew what the ramifications were if we got caught. And we had never done this before. I'm sorry, I blame shifted. It's right. I understand that you, you know were. I mean? just, we're no, all I know. We're all in this together. We are. Yeah. It's just a long day, guys. Yeah. Either way, day. guys, we will remember this forever, and I love all of you for it. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. There's no one else that I would have done this we with. We've definitely guys are been through a lot. After this, for sure. Yeah. Even if we were before, but like after this. It's we've just, seen it's just different. Nuts. It's just different. <laughs> it's all of us have seen it's just <laughs> different <laughs> after this trip. It's I've shaken like, all of your hands yeah, after totally. scratching my mouth. It's just so, we're, so we're, different. We're, we're ball brothers. Well, I'm glad we talked this out, guys. Alright, team yard voice on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Yard yard voice! Voice! That was so whack, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's getting cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cut that for yeah, sure. Yeah, cut that for sure. Really, where in Montana? In northwestern Montana, where this is the we local are, newspaper. they closed the lines down yesterday. Thursday, yesterday, which would have been the day we were driving through this exact place. In northwestern Montana, they closed the lines down because there are are, are, uh, are wildfires and the, there, there were embers and stuff falling on the train tracks. So we would have, if we would have stayed on the train and not got arrested, we would have been driving through a forest fire and probably like who knows died, dude, because they stopped before. No way. Yeah, because we would have been driving through a wildfire. The we smoke would have been the just. The smoke probably would have freaking killed us, or it would have just been terrible because they had to stop the train. So I mean, dude. It, it, it's just like it worked out so well like once again dude like it was just incredible like if we would have never got arrested we would have who knows what could have happened we could have been driving through that wildfire dude well we are on our way to the courthouse right now okay it is on the entire other side of libby yeah no the whole thing is the whole thing is filmed so that'll that, it's that'll about cool. three quarters of a mile away from where we were so not too bad what i'm going to do is i'm going to offer you if you would like to leave now will forfeit the bond and take the money and you're free to go. If you don't wish to do that and you wish to plead not guilty or you wish to plead guilty, we can do that for you. So, what would you like to do, Mr. Michelle? What I can do is I can step out for five minutes and you can talk to each other about it. That would be very yeah. But I think that each of you have posted a bond and if you looked at the conditions of the bond, especially number four, do you all remember these yellow sheets? Yes, yes, yes. yes, sir. Number four says, you will not leave the state of Montana without express permission of the court. Okay. Did you plan to live here? No. 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 Five minutes, gentlemen, I'll be back. Thank, Thank you, you so much.
What, what, did, what did that mean when she said, oh, we can just take your money and you're free to go? First off, you can't do it first. You can't. What? Yeah, yeah. There's nothing else yeah. to do. You can't. What does it mean when she said, you take the, she'll take the fine one free to go? Yeah, what does that, that mean? That means it's we leave. After we plead guilty to this, we leave. No, or she said, she said, you take the $500 and you go, or you plead no, guilty, or you plead, you plead not, not guilty. guilty. I promise you she said that. She said that there was a, there, there was, was three options. There was three, three options. options. The first option the was to pay option, money and then to leave, but that call. like wasn't resolved. Okay, I can't make a phone call here. Yes, you can. Mr. Michelle. Yes, Michelle. What's your decision? Yes, Michelle. Okay. Yes, Michelle. Uh, I, I feel like we have a few questions. If that's. Okay. I'm the judge. I'm not your attorney. Okay. So, if you listen to me, I said to you in your. Miranda rights. You have a right to remain silent. So if you discuss the case with me and say you're guilty, how can I change my mind when you say you're not guilty and want a trial? Remain silent. When I left here, I said what I would do for you at this time is I would forfeit this money and allow you to go. You haven't said I'm guilty. You haven't said I'm not guilty. Yeah, so when we... Okay, if you want to plead not guilty, we have to have a trial. No, but we can do that decision. What would you like to do? Forfeit. Forfeit. Forfeit the money. Yeah. Mr. Michelle, we would not like, Mr. Sorry, Kerr. I'm sorry, this is Ivan. Mr. Michelle is the one that's going to go to jail if, in fact, he's found guilty. We were going to so. forfeit the money, yes. Okay. Michelle says forfeit. Mr. Shaw. Forfeit the money. Okay, gentlemen, do you plan to leave the town? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Why do you plan to get out of here? I hope it's not on the train. Absolutely not. Behave yourselves. Yes, ma'am. This is my town. I'm the city court judge. Everything that happens in this town comes to me. So, I recognize you boys. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have a good time. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, she was giving Jake a business to <laughs> They didn't get it. Uh, let's, let's it yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's walk. What happens if the rest of the footage we got is just of us like, all right, so we're going to Glacier National Park and we're going whitewater rafting because we got F, so we're just gonna, and it's just like us, just like. It's just like us like ending on like a happy Yeah, day. exactly.